What is going on YouTube? Joe here with Culination Media and welcome to another live Pokemon showdown session here on the channel. We are doing OU today and of course I'm going to uh, give a breakdown on the team very briefly but before we get into that I have a couple things that I would like to talk to you guys about. First of which uh, is I just want to thank everybody for the support the channel has kind of started to take off again you know we kind of just picked up where we left off and that is because of all of the uh comments and likes and all that stuff from you guys the support so i do appreciate it i don't get to say that enough just wanted to throw that in there secondly patreons i keep forgetting to mention this in videos um but i know a lot of you don't have twitter so you don't see um but anyway for those of you that are donating i am making videos available um, usually a day or two before they go up on YouTube. Just a little, it's a little something I can give back to you guys who do donate because I don't want you to feel like, um, you're just donating into a black hole. You're not getting anything out of it. Um, so that's just one thing. There's going to be more things coming, um, that I'm going to be working on just specifically for people that, uh, do donate on there. Um, but yeah, I wanted to mention it in a video because, like I said, not everybody has Twitter. So that is that, um... Don't think there's anything else that I wanted to talk about. So we can get into the team. First things first, uh, we're starting at the bottom of the ladder. So this is going to be an interesting session with some kooky stuff probably. Uh, probably not the best competitive matches, but I'm still getting back into the swing of things. So it's, uh, it just, it is what it is. We're going to ladder up together. Anyway, the EVs on this scissor are completely wrong. Um, I don't know why Showdown continues to erase my EVs. But anyway, we have a Mega Scizor here, Swords Dance Roost. Bullet Punch and a U-Turn. Um, yeah, the 16 defense EVs are to be able to survive Adamant Landorus uh, Earthquake twice. To be able to take two hits, that way we can set up on it and uh, it's just a good time. Um, I know it's kind of weird to have U-Turn on a Swords Dance Pokemon, but I needed something that could still pivot um, because this team could kind of use some, you know, some Volt Turn action. So we have U-Turn on there, Bullet Punch is obviously going to be our main attack, Roost is for recovery. The 200 uh, Special Defense EVs are just for uh, surviving like Clefable Fire Blast and things like that. Um, anyway, moving on, we're going into uh, Zygarde now, and uh, this is going to be a sub-coil set. Uh, I really wanted to use Zygarde, I don't know if I've ever used him, maybe like once, but uh, I really wanted to build a set around him, so we're going with a Spadef. Subcoil set with leftovers. Dragon Tail will be to uh, rearrange the opposing team, which will be good with uh, hazards up on the field and uh, a decent amount of HP as well. Really, not too much to uh, go into detail about here. Uh, the leftovers helps with substitutes. Moving on, we have Thunderous um, because the offensive core of Mega Scizor and Zygarde really struggles against bulky waters in fact this whole team struggles against bulky waters i needed something to be able to kill uh things like suicune so we have thunderous here with leftovers as well prankster obviously uh, prankster t-wave is great thunderbolt's gonna be our main stab hidden power ice i could switch that out for hidden power flying because this team just like auto loses to mega venusaur most of the time um so i don't know how i feel about having hidden power ice on there but it does help with dragons uh, specifically Garchomp, so uh, we will see. Moving on, now we have Volcanion. This is the Pokemon I really, really wanted to use um, in addition to Zygarde. These are the two Pokemon I really wanted to, like, I wanted to just throw them on a team. Um, Volcanion obviously got released recently. This is really nothing special. I think it's what a lot of people are using. It's a spec set. Uh, Steam Eruption and Fire Blast are for Stab. Then we have uh, Hidden Power Grass as basically filler, and Sludge Bomb is basically filler too. It does help with fairies. Um, really not too much to talk about there. Uh, EVs, you know, we got Modest Nature, Max Special Attack, Max Speed. Um, so yeah, I guess we could go with the Timid Nature to outspeed other Modest Volcanians, but I really don't see it as that big of a deal. I'd rather have the extra power that we get from Modest so, that is what I decided to go with. So we're going to see what he's going to do. I hope that it puts in a lot of work. I want to see him do a bunch because I don't know when I'm going to get around to using Volcanion again. I don't play a lot of OU. So, uh, fingers crossed 
fingers crossed that he does something good. Anyway, moving on, we have another uh, veteran of the channel, and by another, I mean the only veteran of the channel, like, on this team, basically. Uh, I don't really use any of these Pokemon. But we have Starlo the Starmie. Uh, I could have gone fully defensive because I have, like, nothing that's physically defensive on this team. Um, but I decided to go with more of a utility route. I am bringing the Reflect type. We had the Recover, Leftovers. Uh, I needed a Spinner because I have Volcanion and Thunderous. So, there we go. And then we got Scald for adding Burns. Natural Cure is good for absorbing status. And so, yeah, that's, that's pretty much all there is to it. Like I said, could have gone defensive. Um, especially with Scald and Recover. Makes for a good defensive set, but uh, I wanted to be able to outspeed things because I don't have a Scarfer, and this team is super, super slow. Um, yeah, the only thing with a decent amount of speed really is uh, Thunderous, and it's not exactly something that stays around for a long time. <laughs> so we're going to go with, uh, with that, and then we have one last Pokemon on this team. And that is going to be Hector the Hippowdon. Um, I ended up going with a mixed wall type of set uh, with mixed investment in defense and special defense with an impish nature. Uh, just to be able to take physical attacks a little bit better because as you can see from the rest of the team, we have a couple of Spadef. Starmie is not physically defensive. So uh, things like Garchomp can wreak havoc on this team unless we had something to absorb some hits. And that is going to be Hippowdon. I might come back and change this to uh, completely physically defensive um, but this just allows this Hippowdon to kind of just be the main defensive Pokemon on the team and just take hits from both sides. Uh, set up Stealth Rock which is crucial for uh, Zygarde, it's good for Scizor as well uh, and Volcanion even, it's really good for the whole team basically. Uh, no real reason behind the EVs but anyway let's get into a battle here, had enough of uh, talking about this. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. It is time to search for battle. But anyway, um, what did I forget to say? I don't know. I don't know if I forgot to say anything. Let's see what we got here at the very, very bottom of the ladder. Uh, we got Charizard. That's going to be Mega, obviously. Well, not, not obviously. There is a Sceptile. Uh, this is actually a pretty strange team to be honest. Um, a couple of Pokemon you do not see because one of these Pokemon has to not be Mega. That means we're either going to see regular Sceptile or we're going to see regular Charizard. Both of which are a little strange to see in OU but uh, yeah. Uh, now let's see. What do I want to lead off with? Um, I could lead off with Hector to try to get up rocks because Charizard and Volcanion but I'm going to lead off with Scizor to get a... Um, get a pivot going because yeah this guy doesn't know what uh, good luck have fun means it's gotten that bad where people just don't say it anymore and people just don't know what it means that's that's really really sad that makes me sad um now i'm trying to think what this is gonna have to hit me with probably nothing probably nothing like it normally carries dragon dance outrage poison jab um can't think of anything so uh, he tried to toxic me wait a minute did i just read that correctly he tried to toxic a scissor i don't understand we're going into uh hector here um because that's probably my best bet as far as taking hits and we can get up a free stealth rock um he's gonna toxic me i really don't care it's really not that big of a deal uh the only thing i really need hector for is uh probably the garchomp but if it's not Choice Scarf, I do outspeed it with Thunderous so and can hit it with an HP Ice. So that is pretty cool. Rhyperior will just lose to Scald. Um, I'm going to go right back into Scizor because he's going to go for a Superpower. It does an okay amount of damage, but it's going to reduce his stats. And uh, now he's just set up fodder. So I can recover here with Roost and I can set up Swords Dances. I can do whatever I want, basically. He's going to stay into Dragon Pulse me. So we basically won this game. Um, yeah, we basically won this game. He's got to switch now into right here. here. <laughs> um, and we are at plus two with full health. So I do not think that he knows exactly what he is doing. He's going to survive that bullet punch. He's actually packing the fire blast. There's no way that was going to kill me because I do have a decent amount of special defense investment. We can finish him off with another bullet punch. Um, 
I would have set up, but yeah, he's got a forfeit. Okay, it's really not that big of a deal because it's just not. So that gets us off of the 1,000 point on the ladder. Um, yeah, I could have I could have laddered up before recording this, but uh, I need to play as many games as possible, and I might as well record. Uh, so it'll get better as the session goes along. Once we get into like the third episode of this session, um, we should be facing some better opponents. So uh, that just that just means you know guaranteed improvement in content quality as we go along. Uh, this thing has hypnosis, which I do not like. I do not like that. Uh, thankfully, it missed, and we were able to get up Stealth Rock, so that's pretty cool because he does have uh, three things weak to it on his team with Nine Tails, Dragonite, and Togekiss. Um, I'm just gonna stay in here. He's gonna miss Hypnosis again, and we get off the Earthquake, so this Nine Tails is dead. Yeah. I don't know what he was going for there. This thing. How much do you want to bet that this thing has Confuse Ray? $10, anybody? $50? I would almost guarantee that this thing has Confuse Ray based on the fact that he has Hypnosis Nine Tails. That alone is enough for me to just, just stick my neck out there. Um, we could just go right out into Thunderous. And I don't really see why not. I mean, he's just going to Scald me, and that's not going to do that much. Actually, he's going to go for the Rain Dance. That is still okay. Um, hmm... 71%. Okay, that's not that bad. There it is! There it is! What did I tell you guys? It was gonna be freaking Confuse Ray Milotic. I knew it. I knew it. Uh, now we're gonna switch. I'm not gonna stay in here because I will hit myself. Roman does not like it when I'm confused. Uh, actually, Roman and all of the Hacks Gods collectively just hate me all the time, basically. Um, actually, no, that's, that's a blatant lie. Sometimes things really do go in my favor. Anyway, we're going out into Starla here. He goes for the Hydro Pump, and uh, that didn't do too much damage. We can go for a Scald here. He's going to switch into Rotom Mo, which is going to take 27%, and we do not get the burn. The burn would have been nice, especially if this is defensive. I don't think he'll have anything to hit me with um, if I just go into Volcanion. Because he's not going to go for an Electric-type move. He's probably going to freaking will with Nah, nah. We'll go into Thunderous. That's the safe play. He's gonna go for Shadow Ball, of all things. Okay. Alright. That's kind of interesting. Maybe this is a choice set? I don't know what it would be choiced into. I'm gonna Thunderbolt, predicting a switch here, and he does indeed switch into Dragonite. Um, perhaps Hidden Power Ice would have been the best play there. Um, but at least Thunderbolt hits everything on his team, except for the Rotom, which I predicted him to switch out of. And he's going to uh, just let Dragonite die there after getting off a nice chunk via the Extreme Speed. Uh, we'll get our lefties recovery, and he's going to go into... I don't know what. Gallade. Okay, so he's going to get his Mega off. And... Hmm, do I want to stay in? Not sure that I do, because I do outspeed Milotic and can for sure kill it. I don't want to give it a chance to uh, necessarily heal up with a recover because bulky waters are indeed a problem for this team, as mentioned. Um, so I do resist the stab with Starless, so let's go into that. Because um, the worst he can do to me is knock off. Uh, he's going to go for the Psycho Cat. That does get a critical hit, unfortunately. That's not the end of the world, um, because I can recover here. Um, and we'll see what he does. He's going to go for the knock off. That is 91%. That could have been a roll. I thought we had a decent chance on surviving that. Uh, I'm just going to Scald here. We don't really need Starla for anything. We do not get the burn as he goes for Thunder Punch. So he has Knock Off, Psycho, Psycho Cut, Thunder Punch. Um, he's got to have like Drain Punch, I would think. Or Close Combat. Um, so, we could go out into Volcanium, maybe? Or we could go out into Hector. Hmm... But he can just go out into Togekiss, or uh, more specifically, Rotom Mo. That would be a problem. Um, he cannot kill my Scizor. Like, there's no way he can kill me in one hit with the moves that he's shown. So that's very tempting. I think I want to keep Thunderous around. So we're going to go into Mega Scizor here. Or regular Scizor, and uh, get the Mega off. And uh, I guess we can just set up a Sword Stance. Especially if he has close combat. 
Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Or we can U-turn out. Let's do that. Let's pivot. We're going to pivot out. So he goes for the close combat. And uh, yeah, with his defenses dropped, he's not going to be taking that. So down goes the Mega Glade. That's good news for us. We can keep Tinsect around for a potential bullet punch on that Togekiss. If we need extra damage, uh, we can go out into Thunderous now. And he's going to go out into the Rotom Mo, which I'm pretty sure will die to a Hidden Power Ice. I would think. Um, and we do outspeed it, so he's not Scarfed, and it just dies. So that is fantastic news for us. That is out of the way, and uh, this is looking like it's going to be a win. Barring whatever this, you know, freaking Togekiss is. Um, and I'm just going to click Thunderbolt here. Uh, we outspeed it, and Togekiss is gone. So yeah, that's pretty much a win, because he can't beat me with uh, entirely just Milotic. So yes. Oh, and he didn't even forfeit. He did not forfeit, so we give him a GG there for sure. Definitely give him a GG. Um, I'm surprised how did how fast I did that with one hand. Uh, <laughs> normally I don't type that fast, but it's just it's just two letters. Anyway, good luck, have fun to what is this person's name? I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that, but I do see this is a more OU-ish type of team. Uh, Zapdos and Slowbro are threats to this team for sure. Um, I can pretty much handle everyone else. Um, now the question is, who do I want to lead off with? And that is going to be Hector to try to get some rocks up. Uh, he does lead off with Sableye, unfortunately, so he's going to have the magic bounce. So we're going to switch. We're going to predict a Will-O-Wisp here and go into Ream the Volcanian. And uh, then we can fire off a very powerful attack on uh, somebody. Uh, yeah, he goes for the Will-O-Wisp. And now it's a guessing game. Does he want to leave this in to uh, basically just get killed? Or does he want to try to guess if I'm going to go for Steam Eruption or Fire Blast? Because that's basically what he has to do here. I mean, I guess he could switch in Slowbro, but that's still going to take a buttload of damage um, because it's not Mega Evolved, and yeah, it has much higher physical defense, so he's just going to take a lot of damage. Um, there's really no way around it. Uh, so he's going to switch in Zapdos, which is actually great news for me because that's going to take 98% from that Steam Eruption, which is a stupid amount of damage to a fat Zapdos, and he is going to go down to the Sandstorm and then just forfeit. He's done. He is done. Okay, moving on to the next battle here. Let's give him a, a good luck, have fun, and Venusaur. Ugh, I hate seeing Venusaur because this team is so bad at handling it, and perhaps I should switch to Hidden Power Flying so I can at least hit it somehow with like some kind of super effective move. That would be nice. Um, I don't know what I want to lead off with here. Maybe he's going to lead off with Garchomp? I don't know. I do not know. It could be Heatran, too, to potentially set up rocks. It doesn't look like he has anything else other than Garchomp to set up uh, rocks. So he is going to lead off with the Garchomp. And uh, we're going to just U-turn here. Uh, oh, he's packing the Fire Blast. Okay, I guess a lot of them do, but it doesn't do that much damage. It's still... Never mind. Rocky Helmet, too. Uh, okay, so we might just be sacrificing Scizor, potentially. Um, that's not good. That is not good, um, especially because he does have that Clefable. Mm, let's see. I guess we have to go out in Hector here and get up some rocks. So let's see. What does he have? He's got Zapdos that could have the Defog, and then he's got the uh, Starmie as well, which is probably packing Rapid Spin. Um, so we're just going to trade rocks here, and that is fine with me. Uh, it doesn't hurt my team that, that much, uh, but we are going to try to pivot into Starmie to get rid of those sometime soon. Um, I could try to just weaken him here with an Earthquake, and I think that's what I'm going to want to do. Just 24%, and he's going to drag and tail me out anyway, so I'm guessing this is just completely defensive uh, guard chomp. So he's got drag and tail stealth rock. Um, what else? What else? Fire Blast, and then I guess Earthquake. So that's pretty much his move set. Uh, it's not exactly good that we were sent out into uh, this guy here, but he might want to switch into Clefable. I don't know. I kind of want to just click Dragon Tail though and see what he does, because if he's defensive, Dragon Tail will not kill me. Uh, let's click Dragon Tail. Yeah, he is going to go out into Clefable. Alrighty then, and the Clefable does take. Um, 
stealth rock damage. So it is not magic guard, which means it is unaware, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly. So uh, if we're setting up with uh, things like Scizor, then we need to kind of be careful. So this is going to be pretty much a free switch into Starmie. Unfortunately, he does get the special attack drop. Um with the moon blast there but we are free to rapid spin as he's going to switch out into venusaur that is a bit of a risky play what if i just went for psychic or psy shock right there maybe he just thought it was going to be a free switch because yeah I, I don't know because he expected me to rapid spin and want to save it i really don't know but we're going to sacrifice uh scissor here he actually doesn't kill us which is something let's try to roost maybe he doesn't have hidden power fire no he does he does. I should have bullet punched. Should have freaking bullet punched. Uh, so I'm guessing this is offensive Mega Venusaur. He's got Giga Drain and uh, Hidden Power Fire. I mean, all Mega Venusaurs have Giga Drain pretty much. So I guess that really doesn't tell us a whole lot. Uh, this thing is such a problem. I like have nothing to hit it with, basically. Um, I guess. Zygarde can beat it one-on-one, -on -one, I suppose, depending on what he has. I mean, if he's offensive, he probably doesn't have Leech Seed, but I could sub on that anyway. Um, I guess that would be my best bet until I weaken it. Then I might be able to kill it with Volcanion, depending. Um, let's set up a coil here. Let's see if he goes right into uh, Clefable. Because... No, he's not going to go right into Clefable. He's going to Giga Drain, and that does not do a lot of damage, so he's probably going to know that I'm now special, specially defensive. Uh, that, that did not do enough. Um, do I dare Dragon Tail here? Do I dare? That would be like making the same mistake twice, but what are the chances? Yeah, let's just Dragon Tail. He does go out into Clefable again. Okay. All right, that's the game he's playing. Anytime that... Um, a dragon is on the field, he is just going out into Clefable. And by dragon, I mean Zygarde. That's just his play. So, hopefully, we can use that to our advantage later on in this game. Um, we could... We could Earthquake to see how much that do does, but it's probably not a good play. Probably not a good play at all. So... Uh, we can go out into Ream here because that is going to be a resisted hit when he goes for Moonblast, which he does. Please don't get the special attack drop. Darn it, that's two in a row. Ah, I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Um, yeah, it's not going to be doing enough damage now. Oops, I'm smacking my computer and my webcam. Ah. <sighs> Because I could sludge bomb him, but the problem is Heatran. Heatran is a problem. And not because it's, like, gonna be doing a lot to my team, but it's just immunities and ability to get a free switch in is bad. But uh, we were able to switch in Starmie on that switch into Heatran, which is good news because now I can Scald, which hopefully he'll stay in for and not switch out. Please don't switch out. Or switch into Venusaur and get burned. But no, he's going to stay in, so his balloon is going to be popped as he goes for Earth Power. I'm guessing that's the only thing he has to hit me with. And uh, this is good news because I can just recover as he switches out into Mega Venusaur. He's going to want to save uh, that immunity. Um, so that's, that's something. Unfortunately, uh, we have yet to get a burn on this thing. Probably because I have not scalded it maybe more than once. <laughs> um, I'm going to reflect type this. That's what we're going to do. We're going to make your Giga Drain do uh, 13%. Yeah, that is nothing. But you do have Hidden Power Fire, which I don't like. Can we please get a burn on this? No, still no burn. We could go for Scald again, but then he could get Rocks up. Really, really hoping for that burn there. Um... We're basically in the same position we were in before. This Mega Venusaur is such a problem. It is such a problem. I was really hoping we just were going to not run into one. Um, but that is what we deal with with this team that I put together. That is pretty bad. But uh, we're going to go into Zygarde here because we already know that uh, most of his attacks are not going to be doing too much damage. Plus I resist Hidden Power Fire, which is nice. 
And uh, now I can set up a substitute. I can gauge whether or not that Clefable is physically defensive. It probably is. But looking at his team, he's got the physically defensive Garchomp. So maybe that Clefable is specially defensive? Um, you can get an idea because they're going to get a sub up for free here. And then we're going to get at least two turns of Leftovers Recovery on top of that. Let's try out an Earthquake. Uh, that does 28%, so that's probably physically defensive. Uh, okay. Man, this Clefable will not be as much of a problem if I didn't stupidly let uh, Tinsec just die, basically. Um, how much did Moonblast do to Starmie last time? Did it do more than 39.3%? Um, scroll back through here. Where did he go for Moonblast? I think it was closer to the beginning, wasn't it? Uh, that was Moonblast on Reem. Coil, hitting Power Fire, there was Starla, we Rapid Spin, and okay, did 40.9%, uh, so that is just slightly more, that means it could be a roll, or it could just be 100% guaranteed if you got a low roll last time, so I'm not going to worry about switching Starmie in, we're going to go into Ream again, this time he's going to Wish, um, I don't want him to pass it into Heatran. I really, really do not want him to pass it into Heatran. Um, he could try to pass it into Venusaur, but that's kind of risky if I were to go for Fire Blast. Um, yeah, especially with Rocks. I mean, I don't know if it, that it would kill him because he's more offensive. But, yeah. Uh, not going to go for the Sludge Bomb. That's too risky with Heatran still around. Hmm. What do we go for here? I guess Steam Eruption is the best play, and there's a chance of a burn, too. He's going to go into Starmie, which does resist the stabs, but that does 73%. And we get the burn. Can't get a burn on freaking Skull, but we get it on Steam Eruption. Um, that Wish pretty much heals him all the way back up, and now he's going to be able to get a free Rapid Spin off. But if we, heat, yeah, if we hit Steam Eruption again, this thing's dead. Um... And Starmie, I believe, does outspeed Thunderous by four points. Uh, four base points, that is, because uh, Starmie's base 115, Thunderous is base 111. So I think our best play is to just kill this thing. We can always set up rocks again, um, because Hector is looking pretty healthy. If he brings Garchomp out, we can definitely set up rocks on that. Um, so yeah, he's going to rapid spin those rocks away so that Heatran isn't basically dead just on switching. But Starmie is gone. That's good news for us. He's going to go out into Zapdos here. Um, cannot stay out on that. Um, he probably has Hidden Power Ice too. Um, but I'm going to go out into Hippowdon here predicting a Thunderbolt or a Volt Switch. He does go for the Volt Switch. Um, so that's a free switch for us. Uh, Hidden Power Ice is not going to kill me. Uh, that does a lot of damage because of a critical hit. Which really stinks because now it's a 2 at KO. I don't think it was going to be if he did not get that critical hit. Um, that really, really stinks. We do get up rocks again, and he can't get rid of them unless this thing has defog, but it probably does not. <sighs> so now I have to just sacrifice something. Um, yeah, something has to die. I basically need to get a safe switch into uh, Thunderous to at least get some damage off on this. I mean, I just click Slack off, but he's just going to kill me with a Hidden Power Ice. That's unfortunate. Um, I don't know how long I could have survived against him, or maybe it would have been a roll. I, I don't know. I don't know. It's just when I see a critical hit, it's like, it's so disheartening. It really is. But all is not lost. It's not game-changing. So we don't need to complain about it too, too much. I'm gonna go right out into Thunderous, as I uh, mentioned, and now we can click Thunderbolt, basically. Um, if we had Nasty Plot, we could go for that here, but he does have the freaking Unaware Clefable. Uh, so I guess I just click Thunderbolt, and he's gonna go out into Garchomp. I'm not sure why. Um, I mean, I know to absorb the Thunderbolt, and I guess just sacrifice it, because I outspeed this. And uh, a lot of Thunderous carry Hidden Power Ice. Maybe he was hoping I didn't have it. Um, but yeah, Garchomp is gone. So that is good because that means unless Heatran has rocks, he's not... I'm, why did he go out into Heatran? I'm faster than that too. He just lets that die. So now he's definitely not getting rocks up. I don't know what the point of that series of plays was because now he goes back into Zapdos 
and takes the rocks damage, which is going to let me kill him. Pretty sure. Yeah, he's gone now too. So he just sacrificed half his team. And I don't understand. Oh, he left. That was not a good string of plays. He was playing so well. Uh, it was very, very even for most of that game. Um, but he's going to leave. So uh, I will be back at, when the timer runs out. All right, so he did not come back, um, and so we get the victory there. That's pretty cool. Now we can look for another opponent, and this is an interesting team. This is a pretty interesting team indeed. Uh, we have him on top. That's cool. Uh, Blissey is annoying to see, as always. Garchomp is on, like, every freaking team. I don't know what the heck is going on with Garchomp. Why is its usage so high? Uh, I mean, this is low ladder, so... Maybe it's not on every team higher up, but it's kind of annoying. Use some different Pokemon. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, I guess we can lead off with Hector. That Metacham could be a problem. Mega Metacham is super powerful. Uh, we're going to go out, yeah, with Hector here. And he's going to lead off with Blissey. I can definitely set up rocks on this. The only thing he has that would have rapid spin would be uh, the Hitmontop. A Cloyster can learn Rapid Spin, but I've never seen anybody use it. I've used it with Rapid Spin, Defensive Cloyster, <laughs> but that's because I'm bad at this game. Uh, he goes right out into the Garchomp here, maybe to set up his own rocks. I'm just going to, uh, let's see, let's see, what am I going to do? I could try to get a safe switch out into my Thunderous to Hidden Power Ice him, but I don't know that that'll kill him in one hit, so uh, he's just going to go for the Earthquake. Going in on the damage, we're doing about the same amount of damage to each other here. Uh, the difference is, I have healing and he does not, so this is not a matchup he's going to win. I'm not sure why he's trying, unless he thinks I'm going to switch. Oh, he goes for Iron Head. So this is... He has Leftovers, but Iron Head. For Fairies, I guess? I don't remember the last time I've seen a... Uh, Garchomp with Iron Head. I'm losing my train of thought here, and my throat is doing weird things, and it's just, it's crazy. It's crazy, this world that we live in goes with a Dragon Claw, so we pretty much have seen all of his moves, and I'm going to uh, slack off here to get back up to full health. Um, we might as well ensure that we're going to be at as much health as possible. That brings us down to 50, and we go back up to 100 with the lefties, and so now we just have to take another Dragon Claw which does about like 24-ish percent, 25 percent this time, okay, so a slightly higher roll, that is fine by me, Garchomp is gone, and we have uh, rocks up on the opponent's side of the field, and have only lost a net of 18 percent, that's pretty good, he is going to uh, be able to spin on freaking, uh, freaking, freaking hippo guy here. So, we're going to need a switch, but that gives us a free switch, and that makes him use a turn to Rapid Spin, so that is good news. That is good news, that allows me to uh, switch in basically anybody I want. Um, I guess... Who do I want to set up on? Who do I want to set up on him with? Uh, I guess either Zygarde or Scizor, obviously, because those are my only two setup mods. Um, I guess Scizor... Because what does he have that can stop me from just setting up a million swords dances? Um, nothing. That is the answer. He, he could have, like, counter or something. But if I set up to plus six, he's going to be dead. Um, so it's not really going to matter. So uh, let's go for a swords dance here. Let's see what he's going to do. Because if he's defensive, well, he's got, like, what? Mock punch or sucker punch, rapid spin, maybe counter. Uh, yeah, there's Mach Punch. That does 11%, and that is Stab, so yeah, I don't know why he's staying in, but if I get up to plus 6, that's going to be game over, um, unless he's got something that can kill me, basically, in one hit, and has a Focus Sash. Um, yeah. Yeah, so we're at plus 4. We're going to get up to plus 6 here as he goes for Sucker Punch again. I don't know why he's not just switching uh, into something that can hopefully do something to Scizor? I don't know. He's going to forfeit. Okay, that was going to be a victory anyway. We were going to definitely sweep his team right there. It's unfortunate that we didn't get to watch it, but this is Showdown, and people rarely lose. They almost always will forfeit. Um, that's just how it goes. 
So, uh, that was a pretty successful first episode. We're gonna, uh, end it here because this video is, like, 35 minutes long at this point. My throat is starting to hurt. Um, because, I don't know, I guess I'm just not, I haven't built up the, uh, the tolerance to speaking like this for a long period of time. Um, I'll get back to it, though. But anyway, that is gonna finish it all for this session. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode part thingamajiggy. If you did, uh, please feel free to leave a like or comment or uh, whatever you would like to do, of course. Remember what I said about uh, Patreons. Uh, you can find out on Twitter when I am uh, releasing early release videos or early to watch videos. Um, or you can just check the Patreon page if you do donate and it'll be up there. Uh, and like I said, there will be more stuff coming for those of you that do donate and thank you very much for that. I don't have anything else to say, so if you enjoyed, do all that stuff that I said or or not, or tell me I suck. Anyway, I will see you all for the next episode, but until then, game on.